what I'd like to do in this video is show how to build and use a uh, remote access Trojan, a Trojan or RAT. And what we're going to use for it is, is a ProRat 1.9. It is it is one that is built for Windows XP, so we'll use it on Windows XP. Obviously, there are others available if you want to go into the uh, later versions of Windows. This video is for educational purposes only. Uh, if you use the techniques and uh, infect somebody else's machine, you'd be in violation of the law. With that, let me let me get onto a machine and let's get get into making ourselves a little uh, Trojan. Okay, what we have here is a Windows XP virtual machine that's got ProRat uh, on it. The, it was a matter of just unzipping it. There's really no installations required. I've got it shared because when we get the uh, server built in order to uh, infect the other machine, I'm just going to go to the share and uh, and get the server. If you were actually doing this, you'd want to email to get somebody to download it. Some other method that you would use in order to cause them to uh, get this particular virus. I've made a uh, WordPad file here called at latest update info how to uh, to have a document to wrap the virus in because this thing will do a little bit of a wrapper along with it. So with that what we do is go to the ProRat, run the executable, there are some readmes in here how to do it. Uh, this is the machine that we're going to connect to. I know it's IP address. We will specify the port number. If you were actually doing this, didn't have uh, that information, you'd have to do some sort of a scan, obviously, to find out what the IP address is or trick somebody into giving you their IP address. What we want to do with Pro Rat, with a Pro Rat and this is version 1.9, we're going to go down here and click create and we're going to create a ProRat server. We have some options here, notifications. I'm not going to really do anything with those. You can have it send information back to you uh, and all sorts of things. What we're going to do is go here to the general settings, the port server. You can specify the port here if you don't like 5110. Server password one two three four five six and the victim name victim. I'm just going to leave that the same. I've unchecked and already unchecked the disable Windows XP Security Center. You can do disable the firewall, clear the Windows XP restore points, uh, don't send line not modif modifications, uh, invisibility. We're going to hide the process from the task manager, uh, hide the values, hide the names, and unterminate the process. With the uh, went with the two, 2000 and the XP uh, system, so these are just some basic configurations. Uh, you can do different things if you choose to do those. So we've done the general settings. A bind with file. I'm going to bind it with the file. I'm going to bind it with that latest update. We're going to open this thing here. We'll bind it with a up the yeah yeah. yeah latest update how to dot doc file is what we're going to bind this thing to. We could create the server or we can go in here and find ourselves an icon that we want to use uh, for this thing. Let's just go up here and let's see if we can just pick the word icon. Create the server. Notice that it is going through over here the server over here the UPX file. We're creating our server. So now our binded server has been created. With that we can go back here and we have this neat little binded server document. Looks like a, a Windows Word file. I'm going to pause the video here just a second and switch machines. Okay, I'm on what is going to be the victim machine, the server. What we created was a server that we're going to send to somebody. A server because it's serving up a service, and the server, the service that it's serving up is itself. So, with 
with that if I can get to the machine that it's on. I've got the share, the ProRat share, and here is our Windows Office document. We'll go in here and well, let's just paste it in here. And then we'll run the system. Just opens the uh, Word file, and we've told it to uh, do lots of other things. It actually was a WordPad file, so it's kind of binded server. It's kind of uh, revealed itself here for a few seconds. But with that, I'm going to go over to the other machine, the ProRat machine, connect to it. My password, well, you can't see this. I'm just running it. Actually, let me bring it back over here, and we can, and we can perhaps uh, swap back and forth so that you can see the different things that are going on on the machine. Just a second, let me get back to the server machine. Okay, back we are. I'll disconnect. That one's 192.168.1.188.5110. Click connect. Asks me for the password, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, the one that we used. Okay, and I'm connected with the machine. I'm going to be swapping back and forth among these machines as we uh, look at the different aspects of this. So the first thing that I might want to do is chat with this guy. And we can open, my nickname will be Hacker and him will, he will be Victim. So we can say, hello, hello, Victim. And when I switch and I'm going to switch the other machine, it as a uh, command prompt on it. I forgot to send the chat. So now I have the hello victim. So we can send these things back and forth. Uh, we can do that. We can go in here and close the chat. Go back and he's kind of kind of normal. We have some funny stuff, some things that that we can do, hide the desktop icons, which uh, hide the start button, hide the taskbar. If we go back to this guy, you'll notice that he doesn't have a whole lot of anything showing. So what we've done is, and, and now we can go back and show these back. Uh, I'm going to go back, back over here. I still don't have them. I've got two show them. Let me try doing those a little slower. And it's saying, telling me down here that they're restored. So if we go back over here, we have the icons are restored. And the, the virtual machine was a little bit out of sight. You can see that the start menu and everything else has been restored on the system. So with that, a couple minutes to make Trojan. You've got to figure out how to get it on the machine. But with that, you can take control of the system as we go through. We, we could go in here. One other thing we'll look at. We can look at the system information, what it's running, what's going on with the machine. So with that, quick demo of uh, ProRat 1.9, quick demo of how a Trojan works and how easy it really is to uh, build one. The issue would be getting somebody to run it for you and and to not detect it. Uh, these demonstration ones will be caught by a, a virus software. I'm not running any antivirus on these machines. So that would be another complication for uh, administrators. How do you configure your systems? in order to find these things, in order to prevent these things. And one of the things would be the education of the user so that they don't just click on everything that gets sent to them. Uh, with that, uh, I would like to thank you for watching and hope this has been useful. Thank you.